Batman Returns, a dream to be an ethical hacker. Batman chose bats as a symbol because he was afraid of them and he wanted to overcome his fear of them. Close your eyes for a minute. Hey, no peeking. What are you afraid of? Does an online world as dark as Gotham City make you fearful? Hi, I'm Rayan, and I dream to ethically hack every established system, dig out vulnerabilities, and propose out-of-the-box solutions to protect people. By the end of my talk, I hope to have inspired each and every one of you to take on this role. The challenge that we will face tomorrow is how to stay safe and save the online world. Let me ask you a question. How much do you think your phones know about you? Actually, it's a lot more than you realize. We, as humans, are constantly monitored by our phones, cars, surface pros, even our refrigerators, whether it's our location, faces, or heart rate. In fact, a recent study suggests that our electronic devices have more information about us than even our closest friends. Now that's just creepy. Imagine what a criminal hacker could do. Think of it like this. The information you put on the internet is bait, and it's okay to put a little bit, but the more you put, the bigger the bait gets, and the more unwanted attention you create. And JAWS is a great example of that. It is feared. With half the world using the internet, crimes on ground will multiply in the digital world. Did you know 30,000 websites are infected with some type of malware every day? And did I mention digital cash in the digital age? Cryptocurrency also being hacked by the millions. Malicious hackers, if left unchecked, will grow like bacteria feeding on vulnerable bits of scrumptious data and may as well wipe out half the internet. It is feared that the next world war could start off from computer hacking. So, more than ever before, dark Gotham City needs to think out of the box to stay safe, and we can achieve this with ethical hackers. So, everyone knows what a hacker is, right? Well, you're probably thinking of the bad ones who steal money, bring companies down, steal information, violate privacy, and rob people of their rights online. But did you know there are good ones too? Ethical hackers who protect money, protect, protect companies, secure information, support people's rights, and save lives with their interventions. They're the ultimate global security heroes who truly serve and protect without any fanfare, just like Batman. So what needs to change to make the online world a safer place? First idea. Just like math and English, I believe technology should be taught with equal importance. So we need to make coding accessible and compulsory for all children of the 21st century. For poorer countries, this can also be a means to pull students of low-income families out of poverty, as it requires only access to the internet and a curious mind. Second idea, we need all hands on deck. We have to break the mold in thinking it's only nerds like myself who will be interested in coding. We need more girls to delve into computer programming, like Trinity or Acidburn. Even autistic children who could be very good at meticulously understanding hacking. So next time when Batman returns, he should have enough Robins and Batgirls to take on the best cyber villains. Third idea, global online democracy. If the government tries to use force to restrict its citizens from accessing the internet, for example, when it happened in Tunisia and Egypt, some of these ethical bastions of freedom stepped up to help the citizens of these countries connect to the internet. We need to have more online organizations that protect our freedom of internet speech. Only if we have enough white hat ethical hackers in the new age can our rights online be protected. 
Ethical hackers are our respected cyber police and voice of global citizens tomorrow. Fourth idea, safeguarding realities. Time to get our facts straight. In addition to relevant discussions about political hairstyles, we need a counterbalance to feed in fear and hate to the world. Although the internet has closed the gaps between countries, it has also been used by unethical interests as a tool to color realities with targeted fake news, which is supposed to have influenced an election in one of the most advanced countries on the planet. <clears throat> Ethical hackers could act as our beacons to see through any worldwide webs of deceit being spun around us to entangle us in a network. Ugh, I'm killing myself with these puns. Fifth idea, privacy laws. Privacy of individuals is at risk. With data becoming the new oil with a value of trillion dollars per year, according to the great hack. Ethical hackers can provide morality checks on big brothers and data vacuum cleaners. They will guide judicial courts to have the right laws so that personal data rights are recognized as fundamental rights. The cyber interpol of the new world will have the motto, connecting ethical hackers for a safer world. So if you look into my crystal globe at the world of tomorrow with an ethical hacking savvy Generation Z, I see a safer and secure online world with ethical hackers protecting the digital natives. I see more and more people contributing to technology, the world more prepared for future attacks. I see freedom of people's rights blossoming. I see an honest representation of reality being portrayed in the media and I see a stop in criminal activities by the large numbers. Ethical hackers will help bring people together. So, in conclusion, an ethical hacker is much like Batman, as he wants to stay undercover to protect, at best, what's larger than life, the internet. He hates criminals and will always be faithful to his people. So, why does my favorite superhero inspire me? because his greatest superpower is his humanity, and that is our superpower as well. Thank you.